Hello everyone, I'm Naked Faced, because today I'm doing a full blown like a makeup tutorial with you over this new CoverGirl palette. I've heard great things about it, it's from the drugstore and we love it, but there's a twist and turn in our story, who's sitting right next to me. Oh hello! This is Katie. Katie feels super awkward to be here. <laughs> So we really are going to talk about this CoverGirl um, True Naked in Roses. It says shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. I wonder who they're talking about. They're gorgeous regardless. I'm going to let you guys get a little look see at this. If you haven't seen these in stores, go check them out. They're beautiful. But the fun part of this, the twist in our tail is that Katie is going to be doing the tutorial at the same time I am. So I'm going to put my primer on and Katie's gonna put her primer on. And she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna do all the things that I'm doing. Or at least attempt to, but but she's going to do exactly as I say. So if I say apply a color all over the lid, she's gonna put it all over the lid. Even if I didn't actually mean it. We hope. <laughs> we hope! We hope that's what Katie will do. But this is fun. Katie and I are really close friends. She goes to college with me. She's a fellow music major. She's super fun. And she's not on YouTube, so I thought it would be really funny to get somebody that I'm friends with who kind of likes makeup to do all this things that they're out of their comfort zone with, and I'm just like flopping this. <laughs> Anywho, this is going to probably be a really long video. If you're not interested in a long video, farewell, my friends. We will see you next time. <laughs> but if you're interested and you already think Katie's cute, I mean, because really, she is. Then stay tuned because it's about to get real. So weird. Oh lord. More than likely. You guys know the drill. I'm Morgan. This is Katie. Here we go. I try and get as much as Katie as possible. It's when, fine. <laughs> when we're around each other, things get weird. Okay, so we're going to apply our primer. So I'm going to try this. These are pretty new to me. I'm liking them so far. I'm not going to like give you a full review on them, but I do like them. They're from Olay. This one's from Olay. It's the Fresh Effects Clear Skin Swirled Mattifier. And it comes in a little too. And then I'm going to take this Formula 1006 Seriously Shine Free Mattifying Oil Free Moisturizer and I'm going to put that just on the places where I have acne or really large pores because it really is super mattifying and it comes with a huge tube. It's 2.5 ounces and it says you can use it as a primer. Both of these products can be used as a primer so I'm going to combine them and really get super matte. Here we go. Put your primer all over your face. Alright, alright, crap. <laughs> this is already not good. Okay. And now we're gonna take this Maybelline. You guys know I love it. Take a little bit of this. New rule. No one <laughs> fights. Oh lord. Okay. So I'm gonna put this. I take my foundation and I put it on the back of my hand. And I just put like a healthy little dollop. <laughs> a dollop of daisy on the back of my hand. Like, I just put a swimming pool on my hand. And um, hopefully this foundation left in there for Katie. I had two of these and I wanted us to be able to put stuff on with the exact same application. So, um, you guys know I like full coverage. So this, I'm probably gonna use up this whole pond, but I'm just gonna take it and apply it and dab it on my face until I look like a baby's butt. Flawless. Got skills that multiply it. <laughs> Use it all. Use it all, baby. Oh, God, okay. Okay, I got this. Go for full coverage. Go big or go home. She don't think so. Unless you think I need some more. I can't give you advice. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I look all the same color and not bright red, we're going to take care of some under eye baggage. Okay, some people call this highlighting, but I genuinely need to take care of my under eyes because they're dark. Like, I feel that the on a spiritual level. <laughs> <laughs> like the dark side of the moon. Okay, so I am going to use this Instant Age Rewind Treat Mint in the shade Brightener because I'm that pale. <laughs> and you go past the corner of your eye and go down and like, you see this like at an angle? Let me show you that. Oh. And you go into the corner and pull. You want this triangle shape because that's the way light hits your face. Does that make sense? So, whoo! 
that's not loud. I can see the. <laughs> Katie is going to give herself triangles of paleness under her eyeballs. You go, girl. I'm going to take my beauty blender while she does that. And we're going to blend it out. Till the cows come home. Not that I have cows. No one get confused. This is Kansas, but we're not that Kansas. Uh, I have cows. You have cows? Yes, I do. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. I can hear the cows. Oh, Katie's my audience. She's responding. I've always wanted you guys to be here to respond. <laughs> Katie's my biggest fan besides our friend Kimber. Shout out to Kimber. Hey! Woo! Okay, next we need to set our under eye. We are going to do a highlight with a cream, but I want to set my under eye because I don't always worry about it creasing. The Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. Go. We're just going to shake some out in our little pan. Shake some out in the lid. And I'm going to take the tip of my beauty blender. I'm going to dip it in the pan like this so it looks like that. And I'm going to tap and bring it in underneath my eye so that we can bake the under eye area. So when we do our eyeshadow, it catches any excess. I don't know why I'm giving you, oh, I know exactly why I'm giving you guys a super step-by-step -step instruction. You guys know what baking is. I don't know if Katie knows. <laughs> nope. Not that I've never done a video and talked about baking. Katie hasn't watched all my videos. I'm gonna try to set my under eye. Dying? Yeah, are you dying over there? No, I'm fine. Now. She's alive now. It's fine. And so, came back. She's gonna, we're gonna use this hard candy eye primer from the brow bone to the lash line. Here we go. Pause. And let me put on my eyebrows. Because I don't have my eyebrows on yet and Katie's not gonna do anything to her brows. So if you would put on brows here, pause. Put on your eyebrows. See you in a minute. And we're back. Okay, my eyebrows are done. My camera wasn't filming and I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. It's fine. I didn't have anything in my face except for eyebrows, and y'all weren't gonna see that anyways, because you know I'm self-conscious about my eyebrows. So anywho, it's really late at night, and we're doing this, and then we're gonna take it off, and so that's good. <laughs> You're the makeup guru, not me. Um, this shade is called Baby, and in the palette it's called Baby, and it's a very light. There's my my brush is shedding. We're just gonna go in there. Oh, we should let Katie watch, probably. We should go in there and get this little color. And we're going to apply that all over the crease and then halfway up to the brown bone. So from the crease to like here-ish. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. I'm gonna do that, and then Katie's gonna do that, and then we'll see. Okay, bye. <laughs> your palette. Oh, okay. On her palette holder. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> she gonna roll with it. Okay. We can pretend like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're judging me super hardcore. I'm not judging. They're judging. I'm not judging. <laughs> this is true. I'm going to go in. We're going to go in with, is that right? I feel like they gave these really weird names. Okay, whatever. We're just going to go in with what is supposedly not on my finger. Um, Copper Rose. Which is this. I don't know how to hold this. Okay. Which is, okay, so Copper Rose, it's this shade here. And I'm going to put that throughout just the crease. So I'm going to start in the center. And I'm going to find my crease. And I'm just going to work back and forth. Okay, so now our friend Morgan just got here. So I'm Morgan. She's Katie. And there's another Morgan in the room. So if that gets confusing, <laughs> you're welcome. Copper 
rose. Copper rose. Copper rose. The copper rose. Like copper she... rose. <laughs> huh? Is that a dance move? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> okay, she's going to start applying copper rose. Hey, no cursing on my channel. I didn't. I said shoot. <laughs> Okay, but it, it's fine. And we're applying this color directly to our crease and working it out. No, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna keep working this in my crease until I like what it looks like. And we're blending. And we're blending. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You guys see me use from Sephora. Okay. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup for Center Setting Spray. I am spraying my brush to get more, you know, you know. Ah, Brave thought I was spraying her. Am I, am I doing the same thing? Yes. Oh. Well, that's what the tutorial said. <laughs> yes. So then we're going to take this color. It's right next to the one we just used. It's called Dusk. This is really hard, you guys. <laughs> this is hard. But we're gonna start really close to the outer corner. We're just gonna go barely in, and we're just gonna create a little V shape. Does that make sense? Audience that can't talk to me, does that make sense? <laughs> yes. Thank you, audience. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna be inner corner, outer corner. Don't do the inner corner this way. Up to the crease. <laughs> I'm keeping Katie away from everything <laughs> accidentally, but it's fine. Katie. And we're just gonna we're just gonna add this on slowly until it looks as dark as we want it to. And we're not gonna go very far in because we we're saving that space for something special. Just gonna just uh, try and do her own thing and hope it looks kind of similar to Morgan's in the end. Katie just gave up on me. Do you guys <laughs> do that in the middle of a video? <laughs> I didn't give up on you. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're just really good at this, and so are your viewers, and I... Aren't you one of my viewers? I am one of your viewers. I'm just... I watch it because I love you. Not because I'm fun? No, you are fun. Eh, hey, you get with <laughs> So I just want to give you guys an idea of what is, like, actually happening. <laughs> so we're gonna zoom in on my face for a minute. This is what is currently going on on the face. It's not good. It, there's fallout everywhere. You can see it. There's fallout everywhere. No, my face. <laughs> Secrets. Apparently, Katie is the beauty guru. <laughs> yes, you do. I can see some. I can see some. Not it's, as, it's not as much. Yeah, it's, no it's not as much. Okay, let me see. Close your eyeballs. You can follow Katie on YouTube. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so Katie's gonna take over the channel. You guys are gonna love her better anyways because she's cute. Um, so <laughs> enjoy her. She's here for the rest. Just kidding. But actually, do comment below if you want to see Katie back because she's cute and fun. And she's shaking her head like she doesn't want to be here again. So no, I'm having no. fun. Just, no, I'm please. not cute. Okay, now I'm going to take this little bit of this shadow insurance glitter lockdown stuff from Too Faced. Yeah, I know it's not a drugstore brand. If you want a drugstore brand um, glitter, like, eyeshadow stuff, there's one from e.l.f. that is actually really, really good. And I'm going to take that from my inner corner. into that darker area, but not all the way. Just to kind of, I'm gonna do it, I got this one. Lay down a foundation for the sparkly shade we are about to go to. And we're gonna do this because we're going to lighten up our inner corner and the main section of our lid 
with this fourth shade over and it is called rose gold. We're going to apply this rose gold color with our finger because glittery shades are crazy like that. Ah. Oh, sorry. sorry. I keep moving things for you. <laughs> That's so soft. It's wonderful. Then we're just going to pat right into that area where we put the glitter glue. in the inner corner. I don't, I just like the way light looks that way. But then we're going to actually take our little blending brush. We're going to go in and we're going to blend this out so it looks a little bit more natural. Just through the crease though, like don't blend there, you just put on. Nope. Because it looks perfect. So that's why you would not blend it. And then you're just going to blend the two shades on your lid just where the line is. Because you know you got a little transition line <laughs> and then I'm going to use my real techniques brush um, this is kind of new to me actually it looks like this but it's this pretty dome shape I'm going to use that to sweep away Freya you guys haven't met Freya yet I'm just going to like sneak her past you oh <gasps> the Freya so cute okay bye the tutorial is telling you to highlight your face. We're going to use our NYX HD concealer. You guys have seen me use this a lot. We're just going to take it and dab it on areas. You want a little extra coverage. Like the whole thing there. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it Right down the nose. Fan a little bit into your forehead. And highlight the upper lip. And we kind of pretty much already did our highlight for our under eye because we used a treatment on it. And so now Katie is going to do the same thing while I use my beauty blender. Today we're going to contour with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade Deep. The packaging looks like it's lovely. Comes on a little Dofa applicator. And I'm just going What you do to find your contour area, you're going to suck in your cheeks. You see where the natural channel occurs. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're going to like dot this along. And then we're going to use a contour brush to kind of like move that in and then sh blend it out with our uh, sponge. So we're going to set all of those areas that we highlighted. Oh. <laughs> and apparently the areas we contoured. <laughs> with some of our powder here. We're going to pass along the powder and the brush. The place where we highlighted, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, would you ask your tutorial for clarification? I would probably have rewinded. That's fair. <laughs> I can't rewind here. <laughs> And then to set our contour, I'm just going to go with my favorite e.l.f. bronzer palette. And I'm going to take this one because it's lighter. I'm just kind of like, that's my default noise. I'm going to mer it on there. <laughs> oh, wait, I wasn't watching. Crap. <laughs> Shoot. Dang it. <laughs> she wasn't paying attention to the video. <laughs> our blush. I'm going to use my Milani Rose Powder Blush. It's in shade Romantic Rose. And then she's going to use blush. Next, to highlight, we're going to use this shimmering face whip. Facial whip. Face whip. 
from, <laughs> from Elf. It's in shade it, uh, Lilac Petal. To put this on, and it's got a little applicator like this. I'm going to squeeze a little onto my finger. Oh, my lord. Oh, a lot. I'm going to rub it between my fingers. So I have equal parts, and I'm going to figure out where my cheekbones are. I'm gonna highlight just below the cheekbone for me because I have a really high cheekbone. Ooh, look at that flash. Ooh. I'm dabbing, dabbing you guys. It. <laughs> so cool. You got a little glow, got a little shimmer. And then to set our shimmer, we're going to use again an e.l.f. product. They're mineral pearls. These are actually really cool. They're loose little, I don't want to call them balls because balls. And did she just give me? She just give me a vase. But they're loose little um, balls of pigment, like this. Except for there's a ton of them all in this little thing. Can you put a little brush around. Yeah, you bounced a lot. Uh, so you put a little <laughs> brush around, tap her off. I just did what she told then, me to do. <laughs> that's fair. Um, I'm really dark. So you just have a light area. You can also put a little on your nose. Your upper lip area. Oh, we're going to do our eyeliner. You guys know my success rate with eyeliner on my channel is not high. So we're going to take this Mary Kay eyeliner that I use all the time for my waterline. Any pencil liner works. I don't care what you use. It's going to do from the outer corner in. And we're going to stop about a little over halfway. Then we're going to take this e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. It is a felt tip liner. Oh, okay. And it looks like this. It's great. And we're going to start from the outside of the eye. We're going to make our little wing. We're going to point and then pull in. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we're going to start halfway up where we have the wing and drag in to the base of our lashes. And you're going to pull your wing liner all the way in past the transition on your eyelid. So you're going to drag all the way over. And you're going to kind of curve down just slightly past where you curved where you stopped your bottom line. So it's just like, here's the stop there, and then just slightly over. I feel like Katie's doubting herself, but there's my <laughs> eyeliner. <laughs> I have never done this before, so. How does it look? Really Honestly. Good, it looks good. This is, I think, the best eyeliner I've done for you guys. Like, that looks really Let's good. Let's zoom in. <laughs> oh, after this, you put on your mascara. I'm gonna put on my mascara. Katie's gonna try and do wing eyeliner, and I gave her the best <laughs> advice I could. And they actually turn out really cute. I would wear this. I would wear this out and about. I would hope so. It's cute. I mean, it turned out. I'm working on it. Don't judge me yet. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> you look at her. Don't judge me. Uh, this product, I hate the packaging on. I'm sure they're getting ready to repackage it because they're going through a huge repackaging phase. But I kind of hate the packaging on this. It looks like something an eighth grader would wear. That's exactly what I said to Katie when I was talking about it earlier. And, um,. It's because it does. It, it looks, really does. <laughs> the formula is wonderful, and that's what counts. Realistically, that's what counts. And it is called Touch of Berry. This is not a matte lipstick. Her face. Oh yeah, she wants lips that go. It looks nice on you too. We have similar coloring. That's why we were able to use all the same stuff. Mm -hmm. I think you did okay. Minus the eyeliner, I think I did somewhat okay. I think you really did. Um, let me see your other eyeliner. No, no, better. this one's bad. <laughs> that one's not the good one. So, I think you look adorable. Oh, 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 okay, so that's it. That's Tinsley Trials. Again, today we used the CoverGirl Roses True Naked Palette. Um, if you have a request for
for something you want me to try or you think Katie's adorable and needs to join me again sometime for a different look, maybe we should make her learn how to use fake eyelashes. <laughs> um, other than that, I don't really have any announcements. Um, if I do, by the time I post this, have some announcements, I'll put them below in the description box. Of course, you can find all the things I used below in the description box. This was a crazy video. Thank you for sticking this far through. I mean, this is probably going to be a super long video. So, anywho, this is Katie. I'm Morgan. This is Tinsley Trial. And subscribe, like, do all the things. You know the real. You've been on YouTube before. <laughs> See you guys next time. Not the that's a clean Kleenex-ish. I mean, it's fine. See you next time. Bye!